All right, guys, we are back. We are in our yard today, and we are going to answer the forever asked question, and is how to use an RGN trailer. So let's go take a look. We got Bill. He's pulled up one of our new trailers here. It is a double drop RGN. So double drop means drop deck, and then RGN re means removable gooseneck. So that means anything that has a removable, removable gooseneck that can be removed is considered an RGN. It can only really be double drop trailers. So this right here, this neck, is what they consider a gooseneck. And it removes. So we've got Bill with us today. He's gonna take us through all the steps. This question's been asked a lot. Um, many, many times I've been asked. So I wanted to do a, do a Tuesdays with you guys, show you how to do this. So the, the purpose of this is, you see these ramps? You'll see Bill get the neck off, it'll make more sense. But these ramps are where equipment or trucks or any type of machinery will drive on. So Bill, you wanna show us the first couple steps on how to do this? So he's hooked up to the trailer normal, just as any, any driver would be. He'll come around back. These trailers are hydraulic. So what that means is it means it's not a mechanical neck and it has a pony motor in it. So there's two ways to start it. This one has a key on the side and it has a pull start. You want to pull start it, show them the different ways. So if there's a, it starts right up there. So you can turn it with the key, turn it with the pull start. You have your choke and your throttle there. So you're gonna make sure that's engine's idling high enough to run your hydraulics. So let's go over here. He's lifting the trailer and you see underneath here, put your bar back down. He's moved his bar, see all these teeth in there? That's each different height you can put this bar in and you can uh, set your level, your height of your trailer. So he's got the trailer down all the way onto the ground. So remember the point is to remove this neck off this trailer. So there's a pin in here. And so this lock pin right here, lock pin, pull to release, push the lock. He pulled that and the pin inside will be able to see when this neck is off, is now released. So it's one of the safeties for the, the goose neck to be locked in the trailer. You got the pin release, you got the pony motor started, you got the trailer down to the ground, you're gonna take your airlines off. That's gonna lock your brakes on the back. Make sure when you take your airlines off that you put them in the cubby hole. All the RGNs have a little space for them because like I said, the purpose is to drive machinery on and off. So you never wanna run them over. Make sure you put them in the hole, and don't leave them out laying. Look underneath here on the rail See that bar coming down? So that is gonna help you know, balance the gooseneck and he's gonna get up high enough where it's gonna start coming off and when he drives forward, that's when, gonna be what balances the gooseneck from dragging on the ground. So this, this bar is all hydraulic. It just comes on and sits on the frame of the truck. So we got the pin released, you got the bar up, you got your airlines released, tucked into the trailer. He's gonna be able to drive, see? comes right off. Now it's, the gooseneck's not dragging on the ground, it's safety up there. And when you're on a job site or anywhere loading, you just drive off to the side, and you can turn the pony motor off, and you get out of the way. And what can happen is you can bring your machinery and drive it right up these ramps. Whatever you, whatever you load, trucks, excavators, anything. Drive it right up those ramps, secure it, and then when you're done, you just back the gooseneck right back up. So you see the two uh, pinholes underneath there. They obviously have to match up perfectly with here and here. And your lock pin sits in the middle. So that's the pin that we were uh, pulled that lever on. That's what releases. This pin will release and it will let you drive freely out of the trailer. See it? Underneath the uh, gooseneck, it looks like a fifth wheel pin. So it sits in this tray and it locks. So that's what you're pulling to uh, release. 
to allow us to drive forward. And basically what you do is you just back your gooseneck on and then you just reverse the process. Get it lined up, make sure your pin's locked, get your air lines on, get your stabilizer bar up, and get your gooseneck in the position and the notches that you want to ride the deck height as you're going down the road and uh, you're uh, home free. trailer back up off the ground and he's gonna find a notch he wants to come into keep going up Bill and watch this see this bar in here with all these notches as he's going up you just get you're just selecting different deck heights see that you go to that third one all right now come down you find the notch and then you release the pressure and it locks in there so you have different adjustments on uh, how high you can ride your deck height. You see, it's, it trailer's way off the ground right now. This trailer rides at 16 inches in the lowest setting. So, uh, you know, when we were loaded and going down the road, we would sit in a different adjustment. But just showing you guys for an example, you have the choice on how high you want to ride this trailer.